You're listening to a Van Rack Productions production. If the content you're about to listen to interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you'd like more in-depth updates on future projects, please consider following us also on Facebook at Van Rack Productions Live. Thank you, and enjoy the content. Remind me why you drug me up here? To Mount Everest of all places, Jeff? It's freezing up here. I could be back at the cabin sitting next to a warm fire, not freezing my balls off. Now, I brought you up here because it's good to get out of your comfort zone every once in a while. I also brought you out here to help you retrieve something. If it's frostbite, I'm pretty sure I'm minutes away from it. Nah, shut up and listen. After you see what I found here, you'll be thanking me. It better be worth it. How much further? About 20 meters. Nearly there. Is that a giant skeleton? I thought they were just legends. Some people believe legends are based on personal experiences that got lost over the span of time. Besides, the fact that this skeleton is right in front of us proves it's more than just a legend. This is remarkable! How long would you say it's been under the snow? Based on the state of these bones, a good decade. Maybe a little more. I wonder if any of the bones still have fragments of the growth gene left in them. We won't be able to determine that out here. Once we get back to the lab, we can. It does look like the snow and ice preserve some of the bacteria on the bones. I guess this trip wasn't a complete waste of time after all. Glad you agree. Well, this discovery seems to have warmed me up. Now shut it and grab one of those fragments. Whatever you say. splitting headache. I really need to stop going out so late. leaders in their fields, scientific researcher Dr. Scott Henry and his colleague, explorer Dr. Jeff Chambers, have discovered what can only be described as the remains of giants. Many other experts are hesitant to believe the legitimacy of the remains. However, the two men assure that even the cruelest of critics that this is undoubtedly the find of a lifetime. Giants? <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. They only exist in fairy tales people tell their kids. It can't be. There's no way. It's him. He actually did it. I can't believe I ever doubted that he could do it. Perhaps I owe him an apology. He probably wouldn't remember me after all these years, even if I did. Coming! Rebecca, what are you doing here? It's nine o'clock in the morning. I'm here because we had plans for today. Unless you forgot about them already. 
You did, didn't you? I was out all night, and I'm a bit hungover right now. So cut me some slack, would you? You really need to stop going out, Amanda. I mean, look what it does to you. Is that judgment I'm detecting? From me? No. Not at all. Hey, isn't that the guy you had a major crush on back in college? Yeah, he's some big shot scientific researcher now. I guess he found bones on Everest that belonged to giants or something. He's sure looking good these days. As are you. What are you getting at? That I should try to connect with him again? No, thank you. I've already been through that once. I'm just saying. He had a crush on you, and you had a crush on him, till you decided to go after other men. It's pretty clear how you both ended up where you are now. Just because I sell clothes to overprivileged teenagers doesn't mean my life isn't fulfilled. Right. You could be with him right now, on national TV of all places. Instead, though, you're here, in your pajamas, and hungover. What's the point? It's not like he's going to remember me. You're awful sure of that, aren't you? How about this? If you go up to his lab this weekend to talk to him, I won't say another word about this. However, if you decide to stay here and not see him, then you owe me some of your personal time. Rebecca, please don't do this to me. I'm really not in the right mindset to even consider seeing him again, especially right now. Why? Because he's a doctor and you're a freaking sales clerk at some clothing store? That's the weakest excuse I've ever heard. Come on, we're getting you ready for Los Angeles. I am not going. What don't you understand about that? I understand fully. I'm just choosing to ignore it. Oh, come on. Stop packing clothes. It's not going to happen. Amanda, as your friend, it's my job to make sure you're the best you can be. And right now, you're not even close to that. If you were with him, however, I think it'd seriously boost your self-esteem. There are days you really annoy me. You know that, right? I know. It's very entertaining. Glad you're entertained. The fragments seem to be in good condition, even after laying under the ice and snow for a decade or so. Are you finding anything that could help you in recreating what exactly it was again? Essentially, it's a mixture that would work like a steroid. However, without any side effects. And who would be the prime candidates for this? Athletes? Bodybuilders? If I could get it right, anyone could use the mixture. I'm sorry, did you just say anyone? Don't you think that's a bit reckless of you? Don't worry. I'm not going to release this to the public directly. If they want this, then they will have to go to their nearest doctor's office to get it. After they pass all the tests that prove they can handle it. See, now that I can get behind. However, earlier you told me that you put just a drop of this current mixture into a rat's water bottle. Shouldn't we wait to see what the results are before sending it out to doctor offices? That's the thing! We do have the results! Five hours after introducing the mixture to the rat's water, the rat showed signs of muscle growth at very promising levels. So the rat was jacked. Is that what you're saying? It was at first. A few hours later, there was a containment breach. We thought the rat had broken through its cage, which was made of rather tough metal. But to our surprise, it was more than a mere breakout. What was it then? The rat had literally grown so much muscle that by the time the full growth process had taken effect, it was about six feet tall and about six feet long. It didn't just break out of its cage, it completely destroyed it. We were able to find and kill it, but once it was dead, it released something I'd never seen before. It was like a green vapor of some sort that engulfed the rat and completely removed all the skin and bones around the body. From understanding you correctly, the vapor that released after the death of its host basically covered its tracks by finishing off the host down to the smallest detail. Scott, hear me out here, but maybe we should stop working on this. If that were to happen with humans, who knows what could happen? The government could shut you down. You could go to prison for the deaths of who knows how many. I'm starting to think this isn't the best idea anymore. Jeff, look. This is why I'm looking into it more in depth than I was before. I'm not going to release this mixture till I'm 100% certain it's non-lethal. You have nothing to worry about. I guess I'll have to take your word for that. You haven't found any sign of how the vapor works. How do you plan to fix it? I'm not the world's leading scientific researcher for nothing, Jeff. I will search through every scientific source I can get my hands on if I have to. This is my one ticket to being recognized by people other than researchers. I could actually become a well-known scientist. 
or the well-known scientist who has the biggest breakthrough ever. Or the scientist who killed multiple humans because his ego got in the way of actually making a product for the betterment of mankind. I have been working on this for so long. I want it to be right. I want it to work. And it will. But only if you take the right precautions and don't rush it. Look, you need to take a break. I'll check in on things later. If you need me, you know how to reach me. Thanks. Hello? This is Dr. Henry. Yes? I have them in my lab at this time. May I ask who I'm speaking with? General Hammond? As in THE General Hammond? It, it's a pleasure, sir. But may I ask why this information is important? Of course I understand. How soon can you be here? Perfect! I'll meet you in the lobby. Los Angeles. Never thought I'd be here again. Hello, ma'am. Where are we off to today? The Henry Institute. You're the second person I've had asked to go there today. He must have something big going on for all these people to come see him. Well, I'm here for a more personal reason. Say no more, miss. We should be there in about ten minutes. Thank you. Are you new to the city? Not exactly. I used to go to college here about five years ago. No kidding. I guess you know your way around here then. More than you know, surprisingly. That's good. People who have no idea how to navigate around this place always end up making life difficult for people like me. I don't doubt that. What do I owe you? No charge, ma'am. It wasn't a very long drive. Are you sure? I really don't mind. I'm sure, ma'am. Go ahead and enjoy yourself now. Thank you. Okay. Deep breath, Amanda. Deep breath. You can do this. You can do this. I knew he was well known, but I didn't realize he was well known by the military as well. Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude, but I uh, don't recall seeing you here before. Are you new? I'm actually an old friend of Scott's. Oh, so it happens I'm on my way to check on him. I'll take you right to him. That'd be greatly appreciated. It's not a problem at all. Does he know you're coming? It's kinda a surprise. We haven't seen each other since college five years ago. He never mentioned he knew an attractive woman in college. I'm not surprised, to be honest. You see, him and I, we used to have a thing for each other, but eventually realized it just wasn't going to work out. I'm sorry to hear that. Name's Jeff. Jeff Chambers. Amanda Haynes. It's a pleasure to meet you. Excuse us, gentlemen. I'm sorry, sir, but no one is allowed in there until our business here has concluded. I don't think you understand. That's my lab in there. You can't just keep me out of my own lab. Actually, we can. Now, we won't ask again. Please come back when our business is concluded or we will arrest you. That won't be necessary. Thank you. Come on. Fine. General, I'm honored you decided to partner with my facility. You won't regret it. I assure you. Thank you, Dr. Henry. This must be Dr. Chambers. General Hammond, I'm very impressed by your work, son. Thank you, General. I really appreciate it. If you'd excuse me, I need to get into the lab. We'll be in touch, Dr. Henry. Have a good day. You as well, General. Can I help you? Sorry, I don't know if you remember me. But you and I used to be friends in college? I had a lot of friends in college. You'll have to be a bit more specific. 
You and I used to have a connection until we broke it off. Wait. There was only one girl I broke it off with. Amanda? You do remember. How could I forget? How have you been? I'm good. Just surviving, like everyone else. I don't recall you going to college for that. Perhaps not. But it's all I got right now. Until I find my dream job, that is. Maybe saving animals or something like that? Sounds like you and Jeff would make a good duo. While I do agree, I think I'd prefer to work with someone I actually wanted to work with. Who else would you work with? I was thinking you. Me? Um, I'm flattered. I really am. But I like to work alone when it comes to my work. I'm sorry. I'm just dumping all this on you at once. Would you like to get a drink or something? I'd love that. So, still live in Seattle? I am. Not that I don't like living in Los Angeles or anything. It's just I prefer living there than here. I completely understand. Los Angeles wasn't always my home, but now I consider it to be. So, what got you so fascinated in giant-sized human bones? I mean, surely you must know giants are just fairy tales, right? I used to think the same thing until I saw it with my own two eyes. It's honestly gotten me to rethink everything I knew to be real. Alright, then answer me this. If giants existed, why isn't there any evidence of their existence besides the bones you found? Perhaps fairy tales are the evidence. Jess seems to think legends and fairy tales come from a historical event. I'm not fully sold on that, but I know there are definitely beings out there that we don't know about. I'll drink to that. So, would it be out of the question to request a tour of your lab? I think I could arrange something. How about tomorrow morning, say 9 o'clock? Sounds good to me. This is Dr. Henry. Yes, one moment, please. I feel terrible for doing this, but... Go. Really, just go. We'll get plenty of time to catch up in the morning. Are you sure? I can blow this off till later, if you'd like. Your job could be at risk if you don't. It'd be worth it for you. Not this time. Very well. I'll see you tomorrow morning, then. Maybe this was a bad idea. Your timing couldn't be better. Why? What's going on? Are you two rekindling old times? No. Quite the opposite, actually. He's so busy with everything that just happened that I don't think he had even a chance to look at my face. Okay, it'll be alright. Just give him a second. I'm sure he feels really overwhelmed right now. How am I supposed to date him if I can't even get him to look at me? Well, give him a reason to look at you. You know what I packed in your suitcase, so wear something cute. You're right. Just be confident. And show him how lucky he is to have someone like you. Thanks, Beck. Talk later. It's about time. Sorry, I was catching up with Amanda. How come you never mention her? She seems like a woman who can make an honest man out of you. What's that supposed to mean? This morning you had your little meeting with General Hammond. Care to explain what that was about? I'm afraid it's on a need-to-know basis. And you don't need to know. The hell I don't! If it has to do with that stupid mixture, then it has everything to do with me! I'm the one who found you the original sample. I'm a part of this whether you like it or not. Now what is going on? Okay. The general approached me with an arrangement where I make portable containers for soldiers to use on the battlefield. In return, he funds our research, our studies, all of it. Don't you see? I'm doing this for us, Jeff. For this whole place. Is it unconventional? Yeah, it definitely is. But I would do anything for this place. The question is... Would you? Not like this, Scott. Not like this. Look, I understand deep down your intentions are good, I do. But this is not the way. There are better ways out there that doesn't involve weaponizing our discoveries. That's how you feel? Well, then you are entitled to that. However, I must ask that you leave this place as soon as possible and never come back. Excuse me? You heard me. If you're not with me, then you're of no use to me anymore. I have plans. I have goals to research. You'll just slow me down. Pack your things and be gone by this evening. If you're not gone, I'll have security escort you out. That's the way it has to be, then so be it. I'll be gone by this afternoon. Oh, and I hope you get all the success and fame that you desire.
morning. I was curious if Dr. Henry was in yet. He actually never left. Oh, so he's up in his lab right now? Yes, ma'am. I would be careful, though. Him and his associate, they got into a fight yesterday. Thanks for the heads up. Scott, you here? Over here. Sorry. I've been up all night working. I can tell. I'm almost finished with this. I'll give you a tour in 10 minutes. Sound like a plan? Yeah, that sounds great to me. Thanks for understanding. So, um, I heard that Jeff cleaned out his office and left. Is everything all right between you two? No, not really. Look, I really don't want to talk about this right now, okay? Could you just remain quiet till I'm done, please? Scott, I think you should take a break. You've been at this all night. One little break won't hurt you. Actually, it would. I have to have all these tubes ready by noon today. If I don't, I'll lose my lab, my research, everything. I realize that's probably not important to you, but to me it is. This place is my entire life's work, and I'll be damned if I let a simple woman get in the way of keeping it all. So if you don't mind, please shut up and get out of my way. I swear, Scott, I will slap you if you say one get more- Get away from me! I can't believe you! You're not the man I remember from college. A man that had respect for me instead of putting his hands on me. No, no, my work! You've ruined it! Now I have to start all over! Get out of my lab! Now! Ah! This is why I prefer to work alone! How many did she break? Let's see. Only five. This should be easy to get done before noon. Where did all the light liquid go? No, no, no! She walked off with some of the liquid! Crap, I need to find her! Dr. Henry, a pleasure to see you again. Is, uh, everything all right here, son? General, I wasn't expecting you till noon. Yes, everything is fine. I just need to remake five of the tubes, then your shipment is ready to go. That's good to hear. What exactly happened to cause these tubes to break? Just my anger. I've been up all night, so I'm a little on edge. I know that feeling all too well. My whole career in the military, I've seen things that angered me and that made me question my loyalty. The toughest part, though, was keeping my emotions in check, even after being on missions for 10 hours plus. I imagine that was a bit more intense than me working here for multiple hours. I think it's different for everyone. My point is, you've got to keep your emotions in control. Now, do I have your word that something like this will never happen again? Yes, General. You have my word. Give me about 20 minutes and... I'll, those tubes will be replaced. Thank you kindly, Dr. Henry. Of course, any time. That freaking idiot. I tried to be there for him, but no, of course, the freaking job comes first. Always the job. Not a good time, Rebecca. What happened? Well, I went to see him this morning, like we planned. However, when I tried to support him or even talk to him, he was in a mood. He even threw me into some of the projects he was working on. Seems he certainly changed. Yeah. Wait, the liquid. Where's the liquid? Amanda? Amanda, are you alright? Yeah, I'm good. I'll call you back. The green liquid. I don't see it anymore. Maybe it came off me on my walk over here. Maybe it evaporated in the sun. I think... I think... I think... I think... Ugh, what happened? Did I seriously pass out on the floor? I wasn't even drinking this time. What the? What happened to me? I was not this muscular when I apparently passed out. The liquid. It must have done this to my body. Ah! Ow! What is going on? Ugh, what's happening to me? It's like someone's poking my stomach with sharp needles. Ah! Ugh! What the? I'm... I'm growing! First muscles, now this? What's next? A new body part? Ugh! Seriously, body, anytime you want to stop, growing would be great. Oh. My. 
gosh. This, this can't, can't be happening. happening. This, this can't, can't be happening. happening. I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry. This, this was, was never intended. intended. I'm, I'm afraid, afraid I, can't I can't really pay for all the damages, damages but, but I can I help, help in any way possible. possible. I think you've done enough. Get out of here. All you do is bring destruction to my hotel and its guests. There you are, General. That should get you by for the next three years. Thank you very much, Dr. Henry. I look forward to the next shipment. And I thank you for your support, sir. Anything for a man helping to aid his country. Sir, we have a situation. What is it, soldier? There's a giant woman roaming around Los Angeles. She's at least 50 foot tall. Should we engage? Did he just say a 50 foot woman? Yes, he did. Why? Do you happen to know anything about it? Not entirely, but I do have a theory. Soldier, stand down for now. If she begins to present herself as a threat towards the city, you may engage. Yes, sir. Dr. Henry, I think you'd better come with me. I couldn't agree with you more, General. Well, I thought I'd seen everything. This, however, takes the cake. Now, before we get on this helicopter, is there anything you need to tell me, Doctor? Earlier, when I said it was my anger that broke those tubes, wasn't exactly being truthful. My anger did play a factor into it, but I actually threw one of my friends into it when I was trying not to be disturbed. I'm guessing she was that friend? Yes, General. And now it's my fault she's this way. That mixture doesn't affect emotions or anything, does it? From our tests, it never did. Why do you ask? I'll have to be prepared in case she decides to rage out and attack the city with innocent civilians caught in the destruction. I understand. I would say it's nothing we have to worry about, but I've never tested five tubes on the subject before, so who knows what could happen. If I'm understanding you correctly, she is not a threat to us, correct? As far as I know, yes. Good. Now, let's get this shipment to its destination. After you, General. The Henry, Henry Institute. Institute. Greatest, Greatest place, place on Earth? Earth? Whoever, Whoever made, made this flyer, flyer clearly hasn't been there. there. I, can't I can't believe that it was him that caused this, this and, and yet, he's, he's nowhere, nowhere to be found. found. Rebecca, Rebecca did, did say I needed to make him realize what he's missing out on, and, and I, I think, think I know just, just how to do that. that. That felt, that felt good. good. Maybe, Maybe there, there are, are some advantages, advantages to being gigantic. gigantic. All, All right, right Scott, Scott, let's see how you avoid your city being destroyed. Sir, the target has engaged. I repeat, the target has engaged. Then open fire! Make sure she doesn't get far. Yes, sir. Turn this thing around! It looks like your friend decided to get moody after all. With her angry at that size, the city won't stand a chance. Don't you worry, we'll keep her at bay. Just tell me, do you have something to reverse her current state? I never had the need for a reversing solution. I need the equipment from my lab to make it. Not a problem. We'll have you there in no time. You better- Come coming! Brace for impact! Get out of the way! Fly around it! I can't, sir! It's too big! What? Too big? An entire stadium, sir! An entire stadium? Better put this parachute on, Dr. Henry. We're going to be making an emergency jump. Are you sure this is a good idea? No, but it's the only one that might save all of us. Be sure to pull your shoe when you get closer to the ground. We're counting on you, Doctor. Don't let us down. Uh, yes, sir. It's been an honor serving with you, soldier. Likewise, sir. I'm gonna fix this, Amanda, I promise. <laughs> oh, 
come on, guys. Your tanks are barely touching me, and your planes are simply annoying me. Can't you hit me with something that's actually strong? Effective. Where is he? Where is that piece of crap? Jeff? Is, is that, that you? you? Yeah, it's me. Can we talk, please? No, no offense, offense, but the, the only person, person I want to talk to right now is Scott. He's, He's the, the one who did, did this to me after all. all. Trust me, I want to give him a piece of my mind, too. And destroying the city is not gonna help. Then, then what, what would you, you recommend, recommend I, do? I do? Because, because clearly, clearly he just cares about his precious, precious liquids. liquids. Do you think you could take us to his lab? Of course, of course I can. I can. Why, Why though? though? There's something we need to do that I think both you and I will get some satisfaction from. Sounds good to me. Hop on. No, no, I just got here. I need more time. Maybe if I reverse the after effects of the liquid, but only to bring her back to a normal size and not kill her on a molecular level. Yes, that won't take long at all. I have to work fast though. So he lashed out at you too, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, was I was just, just trying, trying to support, support him, him. But, but that, that clearly, clearly didn't, didn't work. work. I swear, I, swear, I, I really, really regret, regret coming, coming here, here in the first place. place. And I regret even talking to him about the project. Even though it would have meant doing things I'm not exactly alright with, it would have been better than how things have turned out. I realize I, realize I don't, don't exactly know you and Scott's, Scott's working, working relationship, relationship but, it but it really feels, feels like, like he would drive, drive himself crazy if you weren't there. Hey, you're not wrong. I just wish I never took him to those giant remains. It's because of those stupid things that he's all worked up about making sure the mixture's right. So, so do, do I, I actually have, have giant, giant DNA, DNA in me? Well, yes and no. You do have giant DNA in you, however, it's so dormant that only a huge amount of a certain substance would activate. Like, like five, five tubes, tubes of, of the mixture, mixture for, for instance? instance? Yeah, just like that. But the rest of the mixture is actually just steroids. Harmless steroids. Well, I really, I really like, like to be normal size, size again. again. Being a giant, giant isn't, isn't really all it's cracked, cracked up to be. I don't doubt that at all. Alright, we're here. Good! It's, it's time, time to show, show Scott, Scott what he gets for refusing to accept, to accept my help. help. Wait. What's that on the roof? Is that a... is that a gas launcher? Why, Why is it, is it on, on the roof? roof? I don't even recall having one in the first place, to be honest with you. Then, then Scott, Scott must have put it there. Oh! <coughs> 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 what, what the, the heck, heck was that? <coughs> Amanda, put me on the roof, quickly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give, me Give me a, a second, second here. here. Amanda, look. You're, you're starting to shrink back to normal size. What? what? I, I am! am. I really, I really am. am! Oh, oh thank, thank goodness. goodness. I'm back. Oh, I'm back. I've missed being this size. Amanda! It worked! Oh, thank goodness it worked! If you wouldn't have thrown me into those tubes in the first place, you wouldn't have had to use that thing at all. That's fair, and for that, I do apologize. You were just trying to help me and I flipped out on you for nothing. I'm not the only one who you flipped out on. Hello, Scott. I see things worked out just great in the eight hours I was gone. Jeff, I don't even know where to begin. I'm sorry for everything I did and said to you. After seeing what the mixture did to Amanda here, I really think it may be best if you were there to supervise my further work with it. Or a better idea, you destroy it. All of it. We can't have another incident like this happen again. We're lucky Amanda didn't destroy any more of the city w waiting for you to come. You're lucky Jeff was brave enough to talk to gigantic-sized me, or Los Angeles would be a pile of rubble now. It's about time you took a break from working. 
you know, if you didn't destroy it in your rampage, I'd like it if you came over to my house for a while, if you want to. Seriously? After all this, you still have the nerve to ask me over to your place? You, sir, have balls. And I'm not sure if I want to slap you for it or respect you for it. Either way, I am willing to give you a second chance, but only if you apologize. I truly am sorry. Thank you. And Jeff, I have an opening if you're still willing to work with me. Yes. That'd be great. I am curious about one thing, though. What's that? I did do quite some damage to the city. Who's going to pay for it? Honestly? Probably the taxpayers. Or maybe someone should give a very generous donation to the rebuilding of downtown Los Angeles. What? Wait, me? You want me to donate money to the rebuilding? You realize if I do that, I won't be a rich man. I'll just be an average rich man. Yeah, and if you want me to come to your house today, that's the cost. Okay, okay, I'll donate generously to the city. Happy? Yes, very. Now, enough talk. Let's get going. Yes, ma'am. Long last, I finally get the chance to have these all to myself. Oh, to think, with these I can become just like that rampaging woman from earlier. I would be a god compared to everyone. I'm sure Dr. Henry wouldn't mind if I take a few tubes with me. <laughs> Is that mine or yours? I believe it's yours. It's Jeff. Should I just call him back in the morning? Oh, just answer it, would you? All right, all right. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Scott. I'm sorry to bother you two, but I got a notification here from our silent alarm that someone took some of the mixture out of the lab tonight. What? How many tubes did they take? According to the scan, they took about ten of them. Ten? Who in the world needed ten of those things? I'm not sure. But whoever did, I have a feeling we're going to be hearing something big about it soon. Right. Thanks for letting me know. We'll check out everything in the morning. Sounds good. You two enjoy the rest of the night. We will. Bye, Jeff. Bye, Amanda. Bye, Scott. Bye, Jeff. After what happened to me, who would even think about stealing more of that crap? I honestly have no idea. It's been a week since the attack on downtown Los Angeles by the giant woman. Ever since she disappeared, there's been no sign of her near the city. Experts think the attack was random and that the possibility for another is very unlikely. I don't believe a word of that. A giant woman attacking Los Angeles? That's all nonsense. It could never happen in real life. But sir, there are actual photos of the attack. There's even video footage of it. All green screen and special effect trickery. The only way I'll believe it is if I see a giant for myself with my own two eyes. I understood, Kevin. Captain, are we expecting a storm today? No, I don't recall there being a storm forecasting for tonight. So what's causing all these rogue waves? What was that? Go check it out. It felt like it came from the stern. Aye, Captain. Nothing seems to be wrong here, Captain. Unless you could have walked or something. Captain, 
Captain, there's a giant back here. I repeat, a giant. Hold your position. I'm looking now. They're real. They're real. Hello, gentlemen. I need you to deliver a message for me. What is that? Tell the people of the mainland that more giants exist. And we are here to stay. <laughs> Sir, what do we do? Or, as she says, lies. And 